a lot of times it's negative and people are scared about this and all of that, but we also seen how sustainable development didn't work, how many other non-controversial uh, concepts didn't work throughout the years, right? And degrowth out of the gate says growth is more or less the enemy, quote unquote. This is what where our efforts should should uh, where this is where we, sh we should put our efforts. And in that sense, it's not meant to be appealing. It points with the finger that's our common enemy, let's say. Or so at least you can you cannot brain uh, greenwash that much degrowth compared to other concepts, or can you? No, I don't think you can't. And that's one of its strengths. I'll often find that if we're standing behind a concept like the common good, economy for the common good, the well-being economy, the concept of the good life, buen vivir, you know, sustainable economy, a green economy, a circular economy. I cannot think of a single person today that's going to be against a well-being economy. And if everyone is for something, it means you have, you have not pointed, you know, the divergence of interest. Your, your, your concept does not have any transformative power. And today, if we start admitting that the system we have today is unsustainable and we can spend more time uh, developing what do we mean by that system. But if the status quo is not working, it means we need change that is transformative, radical, structural, you call it as you want, but a lot of change. And so if we're proposing something and everyone agrees, including the fossil fuel uh, extractors and, you know, <laughs> the capitalist rentiers and, you know, marketing firms, then you're like, okay, perhaps, you know, we've, we've not touched really that part of the system that we want to change. So with degrowth, at least it works, you know, you just point it and you, you divide the room straight away. You know, there's some people are going to think, yeah, they're going to love it. Other people are going to hate it. And that's the good start for discussion. Then we can agree on what we disagree. That's, that's the first thing that is important now. And then later on, we can reconcile with other concepts that are more consensual post-growth. We can come back to, uh, you know, the well-being economy, which of course is, is an important concept in the very long term. And it's not either degrowth or the well-being economy. It's more like degrowth is that concept to trigger a discussion to be critical about economic growth and enable us actually to just decircalize certain institutions and do all the changes that will enable the building of the well-being economy. 